and for those returning, what's up, homies? How are you today? All right. So Valentine's Day is like just around the corner, and since everyone's going to be farting hearts and pooping hearts, I decided to jump on the bandwagon and show you few DIY gifts that can be made at home, so that you can give those to your Valentine. Are you ready to watch it? Let's go. Before you go, come back. First of all, did you watch my Machan vlog? Second of all, how do you like this new setup? Let me know in the comments below. Also, third of all, these Valentine's gift like you know are not meant for like your special someone. You can gift it to your friends, your family members, anyone. So they are open to like uh, gifting. Now, are you ready? Now, let's go. For this you will need macrame rings, yarn, hemp rope, beads and feathers. As you can see I have already wrapped the macrame rings with yarn and then to hold it together I have wrapped yarn around the three of them like so. Now take your hemp rope, I took hemp you can take whatever string you want, double it up and measure it along your macrame rings to see how long you want it. As you fold it in half you will find a loop. A small loop, put it through the macrame ring and the other end just pull it out through the loop. Now string your beads into the hemp rope like so. I use three, you can use however many you want. Hold on, hold on, hold on Sam. Did you forget to show them the process of how to tie the knot and also tie the feathers? Huh? Oh yeah. I forgot to record it. So now, after all this, I'll show you how to do it. Let's go! Cut your desired length of the string and double it up. Not this short, it should be longer than your macrame ring. I'm just using this to like show you how to knot it. Now you see that loop, you hold that loop. Put it under your macrame ring. Take the ends of the other side of the rope. and pull it straight down, holding the loop in place. You'll find a knot like this. It's not very strong, but now you have to glue it from the back. Also, if you know any better ways of knotting, please let me know in the comments below. Glue that end there, right there. You see this? I glued this. Now it's time to string in the feathers. The same way you double up the string, find that loop, put the other end through the loop and pull it towards the front. Ah, not like this, not like this. Hold on guys, hold on, patience. I will get it right, I will get it right, I promise. You hold these two ends. You see that loop there? Yeah, oh, oh, I'll get it right, I promise. You see that loop? Yeah. You put it through and pull it over towards you. You see that? That's a secure knot now. That won't move. Now once you have that string in place, take a bead fat enough for it to go through the string and also hold your feather. Now take that feather and push it through the bead. If it's a bit loose, you can glue it together. Don't worry. Now give the bead a good tug over the feather so it gets a grip and it's tighter on it so that the feather won't slip. Now give the thread a bit of a tug so it's tighter on the macrame ring, like so. Now hold the two ends of the string on each side, one on your right and one on the left of the feather. The one on the right goes under the feather, the one on the left goes over the feather and over the string below, like so, tightening the feather and the string together. Once you've reached the end of the stem of the feather, tie a knot using both the strings. There you go. Now flip the feather over and tie another knot to secure all of it in place. Now that you have knots on both the sides, take out your trusty old scissors and snip 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 out the extra thread. And 
and there our dream catcher is almost ready almost and now to keep the beads in place tie a knot on the beaded string like so so i wanted my beaded string to be on each side of the feather so i knotted it a simple knot around the macrame ring like this not like this like this repeat the same thing on the other side and now for the final personal touch because valentine's day and all i have two heart shapes one that looks like a apple and one that looks like a heart so i just cut this out out of normal chart paper i had black chart paper i painted it red now take the heart and place it to see the placing that you like on the dream catcher i think i like it there in the center yeah i think i'll go with that now all you have to do is just simply glue it gentlemen there it is our very own dream catcher For this you need a shoe box lid, notice board pins, a couple of pictures, copper wire lights or string and a couple of clothes pins. So I had the shoe box lid from Lulu and Sky, not a paid promotion. So I just used that and wrap it with chart paper. You can use two colors or you can use one single color totally up to you. It's now time for the notice board pins. Oh my god. school memories you get these at any arts and craft store we are now going to pin six of these pins on the board three on each side please be careful and do not hurt your hand while placing these pins make sure you're leaving enough gap between two pins so that the pictures stay if you want You can set your pictures up first on the board and see the placing. Now that we are done with these poking the pins, you just simply have to attach the copper wires over the pin like so. You can make any pattern you like. You can go zigzag or you can go the way I went. like this you don't necessarily have to use the copper lights you can also do this with a string i just use the copper lights because i had them but using a string will also give you the same effect and now for the placing of the pictures Ladies and gentlemen, your string light photo frame is ready. Who would say I made this out of a shoe box? A shoe lid rather. Oh my god, so pretty. I can't believe I made these. If you decide to make any of these too, don't forget to take pictures and tag me in them. Guys, I hope you like this video. You can see these things behind at the back. They're so pretty and they look so pretty. I'm so excited about them. So yes, if you like this and you want me to make more videos like these, leave a comment below and let me know. I shall see you next time. See ya. Oh, oh, oh. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit that notification button. Okay? Okay? Okay. Bye.